Maybe I can also play it with mouse and keyboard. We'll see. I'm going to reduce that a bit. Basing is on. Perfect. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Mouse and keyboard. Because I have to aim, I think. <laughs> and I can't really aim with the controller. So I'm always happy about keyboard. Controls. One hour maximum. <laughs> you were Harry Potter. You're a wizard, Podrix. Perennial flame has made its choice. Hmm? An unremarkable vessel. Your ability to sustain the old fire is questionable. Nonetheless, you will be granted this chance. We are the divine spirits chosen to guide and protect this realm. Our powers have been diminishing ever since the great gate closed. The one. You are the chosen one. <laughs> now go, venture to the brink. Unseal the gate. A what? Fast. <gasps> oh. This didn't look like a platform, this looked like background. So far, no aiming, right? to aim actually okay let's give it a go with the controller then I can do that mid combat okay to uh, launch it. Does this also launch it? No. Only this one does. supposed to hit it with a down attack in the air. Oh, like so. Okay. <laughs> oh. Alright. A launcher. Up. Down. Boom. It's like a baseball bat. That's on cooldown. Alright. It's a combo fighting platformer. Ah. Interesting. Ooh. This is why I picked it up because you can um, modify how your character plays. Your bolt is an ice bomb that explodes in contact or after 1.5 seconds enemies damaged are inflicted with frost. Yeah, ranged frost. Oh, I see. Um, I was not aware of this here. 
progression thingy, but that's how it goes, huh? Uh, we want a relic. them and then uh, you uh, do air combos and such. What's this? Scroll. Or a dark thingy. Let's get the scroll. An esoteric scroll. Blight sapping mold. Restore 10 health when defeating elite enemies. Oh, that sounds good. Now we have a Rodex. Resources. The ancient scrolls can be used to enact ordinances through the help of the mediary. Yeah, that's how it goes. Next room. Uh, the luminous gem. That looks interesting. Oh, I waited too long. Launch them. Oops. Well, the frost doesn't completely stop them. Okay. It slows them down. I win! And I should have restored 10 health. I think that was in the lead. Your bolts an ice bomb and gets extra damage. Ah, right. So the luminous gems powers up what you have. It doesn't give you a new, a new thing. Now we have... Choose one of three spirit blessings. Ah, oh, I can turn around mid charge. That's awesome. Oops. Oh, I hit again. That's not good. You can also turn mid jump. <laughs> that launch ability is cool. I like it. Okay. Uh, you gain more essence. The next spirit blessing will f you find will have off. You will f what you find will have offers of increased rarity. Damn. <laughs> Your dash deals damage and inflicts frost. You deal increased damage per nearby enemy inflicted with frost. Aha. There you go. Right, I have a dash. I kind of forgot about that. Cool. Oh, another upgrade. My my frost bomb will be. Uh... Oh no! I jumped into that. Yeah, that's awesome. Ah, I forget. Dash. Because then. Ooh. Bloody fly. <laughs> wow. It's definitely not an easy game. I'm down to 45 health already. Uh, let's click one of these. And upgrade. Our cold presence. Dust deposit. Well, I know that the flyers are most dangerous to me. Oops. Wow, they also... The enemies also turn around. Um, ow, shoot. Wow, so many projectiles. I wonder if there's... Uh, well, there's probably going to be an over overall progression, right? There we go. You'd come. I knew you'd come. Welcome to the Sanctum. Next tip, I'm the Sanctum's caretaker. Pleasure to meet you. Stuff and things, blah blah blah, mediary. Right. Now we have the skills of the cold bringer. Apparently there are others. One, two, three, four, five, or more altogether. 
Always endure a killing blow with one health if your health was at least 10% before. Right, and these cost the, the black stones that we don't have. Yeah. The other blessings unlock their skill trees. Alright, so it's one character but different skill trees. I'm the so, omen forged, apparently. So right, this one's free. Destroy Blythorns. Clear the dark thorns that are corrupting the sanctum using the power of the perennial flame. Purge. Good. Ah, that was free. Mm -hmm. Go to the brain, seal the gate. That's our job. Uh, Ethereal sandstones may appear in rooms. Break them to obtain 10 to 20 dust. Hallowed ground may appear as a room in outskirts. Touch the monument to restore 50% health. Yeah, that sounds good. Because I'm slow and I will get hit. You can pick different weapons. Fists, a bow. So there's maybe aiming later on, actually. And then you can train your weapon. But what was uh, what's this here? The smithy. Combat runes. Awaken more weapons. That's how you get more weapons. Sisterhood gauntlets. The astral cord bow. Okay. Oh, they are not in the. The bow's not in the demo. The fists are, so we can actually use one of these weapon runes to test another weapon. Um... Yeah. It reminds me of a few games. But not directly. More like, uh... It took some me mechanics and made them... Uh, took some mechanics and, and, you know, made them different. Now, we are gonna get freezing dash. Oosh. Just to do something different this time. Uh, a vitality press. Let's have a look at that. Oh, you're fast. Oh, too slow. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to judge when they will do their attack. I mean, it's indicated clearly with that uh, exclamation mark, but... Oh, there's our weapon thing. Nice. Maximum health. It also adds current health. Oh, that's good. Um, a relic. good at following up the, uh, the launcher attacks and whatnot. They, they are quite fast. Or it would be necessary for me to be faster. You know. It bloody flies. <laughs> oh, it's fun. You deal 25% damage while at 30% health less. Yeah, easy, I can do that. <laughs> Nearly there. Uh, that would unlock another skill tree, wouldn't it? very fast <laughs> this game is not kidding around but you can interrupt their attacks with the launchers and whatnot so you know and you 
have air attacks as well. And oh, at least I survived it. Let's get another weapon thing. I'm not, I'm not sure how many we need for the weapon. Reduce incoming damage. Ah, uh, well. When you recover health. Oh, I don't. Poised. The damage of the launcher has increased by 55%, but after that I do less damage. Sounds good, except I don't get healed <laughs> yet. So I, I think we would then try to get another one of those. He, uh, uh, yeah, anyway. I know what I want to say. Oh, too slow. That was a kick attack. Oh bloody hell, those flies drive me to the ground. Yeah. So I think for me personally it's a bit too fast. Um but maybe Let's see if we can get the weapon. Oh, just one. This would upgrade. Oh, I did skip that earlier. But instead of getting a new weapon, which we will do, we're gonna upgrade the new one. <laughs> Appears in the first room of each region beyond the outskirts. Spend your essence there to power up your weapon. Extra shield damage. Okay. And now we can pick up the fisticuffs. Uh, that means your chat rebooted. On my end, it's uh, it's not showing that. I hope it wasn't broken because last thing I saw in chat was uh, 17 minutes ago. Ah, look at that. Ooh, ha -ha. Yeah, this is for them players that like a very fast game. faster than the sl sluggish hammer. Punch, punch, punch! <laughs> Feed your PC hamsters. Uh, this is not gonna work for me. Your bolt rapidly damages enemies in a straight path, destroying projectiles on its way. You are poised while firing. Oh, well, poised is good. I thought poised was bad for us, but that's actually not the case. Sorry. Let's get the crest. <laughs> Hamsters in this economy. were just ex exceptionally weak in the beginning. This just felt awesome. This has potential. It's like uh, the, the slightly less complex, faster brother of uh, Dead Cells with a few different things here and there. So this is another...
another blessing we can collect. Your attacks deal more damage and inflict wounds. Target has a 3% chance per stack to receive critical damage. Yeah. Spiky fists. And now the other the other thingy. See what that's all about. Ah, they kicked me in the butt. Ooh, what the hell are you? Shielded is what they are. Oh, that hits me. You get one. Hey, you can swap the fly. That's awesome. Epic. You have bonus damage and movement speed for five seconds after slaying an enemy. When you are hit, advance all cooldown times to become electrified. I want that. Hey, T-Bank, welcome. European hamsters. <laughs> The crypto hamster has been sold. Aww. Yeah, that interrupts them. Nice. Case of wrong button. Okay. More wounds? Nah, let's upgrade the bolt. It's really good. You you started playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey again, nice. Yeah, Badger keeps uh, keeps saying it's great, and I will probably get around to play it at some point. Oh. I da dashed into that. Stop it. <laughs> Swat the fly, it's the best move. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, okay. Flies will be the death of me. They are hard to reach for me somehow. I don't I think I'm just doing it wrong. It's just up and up and X. Oops. I lost track of where I was on the screen. Oh boy. Stop rampaging. Well, somehow I survived that. Badger, badger, badger. Origins is your favorite still. That's fair. I should have taken the scroll. Crap. When you slay enemies, they reward 10% dust per unique status effect inflicted. That's two. I inflict two status effects. Wounded and electrified sometimes. Devon, welcome! Badger, T-Bank, Devon, Tide, how are you guys doing? Whoop, okay. Enough of that. Nonsense here. 
Oh, come on, see? Man! Seriously? <laughs> Get some! Oh, there's more! I survived on five health. <laughs> it's going well, Devon Ty. Thanks for asking. Uh, you were annoyed with football yesterday. I did watch any footy. The bag, bag is the better character, and the shields, and 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 personal preference. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Next face is always. Frenzy mode over here. And raise you EV Fry. Which one's EV? They both played the reserve teams. Uh that sounds boring. You probably miss Cassandra too much. Yeah. You can mod Cassandra into Syndicate. <laughs> ah right, yeah, that's Syndicate with EV Fry. Okay, cool. You can probably mod her in, yes. Um, does that replace the other dash? It does. Cool. I'm dead. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. Um... There are many enemies on the screen with many different abilities that are either ranged or, well, sort of, sort of mid-range. And they only indicate an exclamation mark which says their animation starts. So I, don't, I never really know when they're actually attacking, so I can't really prioritize one over the other. Um, that makes it a bit hard to decide what to do. And that results in this kind of mess. That we're seeing uh but as always with these games you kind of you kind of want to find um upgrades that help right and these upgrades seem to be cool there's there's a uh, different well spirits that you can get boons from. 1% health per, per region, yeah. So you can you can get a bigger health pool. And then you just work your way up to a more awesome character. They were talking about some left trigger last time, but I don't have an ability there, which is odd. But anyway, that's spirit fall. No thanks, not yet. Not, not too bad. It's like a platformy. I don't know. It's yeah. It, it's it's very smart in in how it combines things from Hades and Dead Cells and Slay the Spire if you want, or FTL, uh, like this map navigation and um, and all that. But I would not compare it to any of them except maybe Dead Cells. And that's that's. A, Tough comparison because Dead Cells is like top level. Uh, but yeah, it's fun. It's very, very fast. And uh, I'm really bad at it, but it's a fun game. And it looks cool. I like the style as well. 